The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And Captain Star and his tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs, Tales from the Big City. This is Big City Port in the year 1937. It was an era of rapid change. The steam engine tugs were in their heyday and were gradually replacing the old sailing scales which were not as powerful, nor dependable. Even so, steam in its turn would shortly have to give way to diesel. But it was in this period when the steam tug was in its glory. That is regarded with the most affection. It was a time of great opportunity. None knew it better than the tug companies. Every vessel from the lowliest tramp steamers to the grandest ocean liner depended on tugs to bring them safely into harbour. In fact, the whole entire working of the port depended on them, and often they were so busy they would work long into the night, usually without complaint. But the competition was very fierce, with companies vying with one another to win contracts. Not everybody played it straight. There were those that would stop at nothing to get ahead of their competitors. Generally though, they're an honest, hard-working group. Tug's Tales from the Big City is the story of the daily working life of two tugboat companies, told through the adventures of Captain Star's proud fleet of seven tugs and their rivals, the widely devious tugs of Captain Zero, who display the darker side of the tugboat industry. The series covers key aspects of harbour life and that of neighbouring rivers that took place during the late 1930s, stories of which are based on fact, real life events that took place in tugboat history. What you're seeing is a flavour of Tug's Tales from the Big City, a fan-made series based off the television series by Robert D. Cardona and David Mitten.